Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're at the World of Disney once again. Um, I could see through the window of the World of Disney when I was waiting outside in the line. They have something new here. I want to show you guys. Look at this. They have the Oogie Boogie Spirit Jersey finally. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. Look at that. It's really, really nice. It costs $69.99. I believe it goes up to a 2X as well. And then let me show you guys the back. Here's what the back looks like. It's got bats, it says Oogie Boogie, and then like, and it's got like a felt-like feel to it. Feels like felt. Feels pretty good. It's a nice, really, it's a really, really nice Spirit Jersey. Like, I like the green. Uh, I think it looks a little bit darker in the video, but like, in person, it looks like more lime green than anything. And then they got something else for Oogie Boogie as well. Like, they have this sweater where like, the name goes on the sleeve as well. It says Oogie, and then Boogie. And then nothing on the, on the other sleeve. Nothing on the back as well. It's just black. But that front's pretty cool. Look, it's got Oogie Boogie right there. And then I like the uh, purple and green like strings for the hood. It looks really cool. And then this sweater retails for $59.99. So all that Oogie Boogie stuff was like a huge find. Let's go ahead and look around a little bit more and see what else they have here. So we cross over from the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff over here to the uh, the Halloween stuff or the villain stuff, they have this shirt. I showed it last time on the live stream I did. They have this. They have this Ursula shirt. Is it cute? And then they have this up to no good shirt as well. This one glows in the dark. This shirt's actually pretty cool. It's like $19.99. I like how it glows in the dark. I would love to see how this looks like at night. Just to see, I'm sure like the yellow it's part with gloves, obviously. So as far as masks goes, they still have the same like Mickey Mouse ones. They still have it in all the sizes, including extra large. They still have the, the, the pumpkin ones with different expressions on them, all the way up to uh, extra large as well. So they really stock that one pretty well. As far as the other masks that they have here, they do still have the uh, they have a lot of the blue ones. They have all the sizes, extra large, large, medium, and small. So here's a look at the other Halloween stuff that they've already had for a while now. Um, this all like appears to be the same. They still have this crew uh, neck sweater. Still have this tank, these leggings, sweater, shirt. Just like a bunch of the same old stuff. But that spirit jersey is really nice. Also, I'd like to add, still no Haiti spirit jersey. I know it was released over the weekend, I believe, online or on Shop Disney, but nope. Still not here, so maybe in a week or two, maybe a few days, maybe who knows? Literally, it could be any any day, any moment. So when I say that spirit jersey and that sweater are all over the place, let me go ahead and show you all the locations that they currently have them all. Okay, so the entrance is over there, and then the uh, I guess the first checkout stand will be over here. So if you keep going straight, it's right here. This is one spot for the spirit jersey. They have the Oogie Boogie sweater as well, and the next spot would be over there where the uh, Night Before Christmas stuff is. Just look at this. Look, they have carts full of these things. So at the start of the video, this is where I was. This is over here by like the, the window. So when you're making line, you, you can see it from the window, which is pretty cool. Um, they have this, and then over here they have it on this side. So now I'm over here by the uh, the wall of ears. This this rack had like a whole bunch of the Haunted Mansion spear jerseys, but now it's just full of Oogie Boogie. Like I can picture all this <laughs> being gone by today. As soon as uh, people start finding out about it, I'm sure they're gonna buy them out. As of right now, people are, are currently grabbing like two to three of them and buying them. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it's a hot item and if you're looking for it, come as soon as you can. Even though it look like, looks like they have a lot of stock, you just you just never know if they uh, will run out or not. Oh well, look, they still have this awesome Razor Crest Lego. This is the one from the Mandalorian. This is a Lego version of a ship, which is pretty cool. And it's also the first time that the child is featured as a Lego. And then you get all these, these characters that come with it. And then I believe it's $129.99, but so far, when I was here on Saturday, they had only had like four of them. Now they only got like two of them. They were actually placed over there, but now they're they're just uh, running out, I guess. Because they used to have a bunch over here. Right under that Mandalorian Lego, they do have a bunch of the uh, the dark sabers, which is also from the Mandalorian show. Came on the last episode. That looks like fun to like fight with somebody else with. <laughs> oh, when it does light up, look at that. How cool is that? So I ended up leaving the world of Disney, and uh, check this out, it's currently 10.41 and they still have not um, used the virtual queue system yet. 
Yeah. It is a little bit busy today, but not I guess not enough for it to to warrant the uh, virtual queue line, but I thought it was a lot more packed earlier. I guess it was just like the sudden rush of people that came. They probably knew that the spare jersey was here. Well, it does not appear to be too busy today. This is the uh, dress shop, and usually by now they'd be using like the the virtual queue system, but right now it's just a standby line as well. Like nobody behind them. I actually heard that something new might have released at the home store, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over there before uh, they start using the virtual queue line. Hopefully it's a walk-in. I'm actually starting to believe that something was released at the home store today, because look, that's where the line starts. And let me zoom out for you. I'm way over here. And actually I was the first one to be put on the virtual queue list. So as I'm waiting for my, uh, my text back for the home store, I'm just gonna look around at the dress shop right now. I'm currently in line for it. It's kind of like a couple people longer since like I just passed by and showed it, but uh, it's still not too bad. One thing I wanted to say is this weather is nuts. Look at that. It's like completely clouded, no sun, but it's still pretty warm, which is, which is really strange. So I just got into the dress shop. So far, everything looks to be about the same. The only thing that I haven't shown you guys that's been here for like maybe like about a week or so now is this lounge fly backpack. It's got like this cheetah print and this bow and it's pretty cool. Look at that. There's still like quite a few left, but yeah, I just, every time I come here, I've not like seen it. And every time I leave here, I see pictures of it on Instagram and like, I have not been able to show you guys, but yeah, this is it. And uh, it costs the usual $90 for a launch fly. But I think it's worth it though, if you like that cheetah print or that cheetah look. Also, we're still looking for some of the, uh, like the first merch that came out here for Halloween. Uh, the dress shop is a pretty good spot to buy some of it because they still have uh, like a bunch of the shirts. They have a lot of the newer masks that came out, like the Boo and then the, the pumpkins. They even have some of the Haunted Mansion ones. They have some of the ears, the lounge fly backpack as well. Uh, the sweater, the Hocus Pocus spirit jerseys here as well. And then, and then they even have like the Haunted Mansion stuff too. So it is a good alternative to the world of Disney if you guys are looking for uh, some of the stuff that's already been out for a little while. All right, so now I got my text back from the home store and now I'm waiting in the standby line to get in. It's not too bad, it's moving kind of fast. I like these cool like figurines here. Look at this, beware of hitchhiking ghosts. This one is $90, it looks really cool. Look at the detail, it has a lot of detail on it. I cannot wait to see that sign in person again. They've got the Haunted Mansion clock as well. Look at that. There's no like visible price and I don't want to pick this up, so I'm just going to leave it where it is. And they have the Terror Triumphant Gym Shore. I'm guessing that's this. Look at that. Like the whole crew here. And they have all these figurines too. Look at this. It's Maleficent. $160. And it was Trigger and Nesty, $95. Oh, look, here's Max. Is yours here? The Shadow Box, this has been here, but they have this as well. And the Poor and Fortunate Souls from Blue Mermaid, $95. They've also got the Halloween mask here, too. Uh, if anybody's wondering, they are $6 each or four for 20 No. And you're only limited to four. All right, guys, so I ended up leaving the home store. I didn't want to keep showing everything because it would have been like repetitive because you guys have already seen most of that, I'm sure. But uh, the figurines, I think, were new. I hadn't seen those before. But now I'm at the Esplanade. I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit longer and then I'm going to go ahead and take off too. But it's a really weird like weather day today because it's like misting almost, like if it wants to rain. But pretty strange. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.